If you are a beginner who wants to make animations, then this video is for you. Even a simple animation like a bouncing ball or walk cycle can take hours to create in the traditional way. But I will show you how to create animations similar to what you are watching now in less than 10 minutes. Are you excited? Let's begin. Here are the steps involved in creating an animation video. Step 1. Creating an animation character. The usual way of creating an animation character is to draw. For beginners who have almost zero drawing skills, it may not be a great option. That's why we are going to build a character. Start with visiting this website called Animaker.com. Once you sign up, you will be taken to the dashboard. From here, select the Create option on the left, followed by selecting Create a video and blank page. A new blank project will be created. This is the interface of the application. In the center is the workspace where we'll be creating our videos. On the right hand side is the scene section. Scenes are similar to the slides in a presentation. As the several slides combine together to form a presentation, several scenes together form a video. On the left hand side is the library. Here's where you can find elements like animated characters, illustrations, backgrounds, images, videos, music tracks that will be needed to create a video. On the bottom is the timeline. Here's where we'll be editing and customizing the elements that will appear on the video. It is further divided into scene timeline and overall timeline. Let's start with adding the character to the scene. We have two options in selecting a character. Either we can select a character from the library of Animaker or we can create a character from scratch. If we look at the library, it has a variety of characters starting from adult, male and female characters plus sized characters, animal characters and kids characters. To create a custom character from scratch, you have to open the My Character section of the library. Here you are looking at all the custom characters that I have created before. To create a new custom character, you should have to click on this option, Create Your Own. Now select the type of character that you want to create. Let me select the adult male character. Now we can start building the character starting from the skin tone. Next, we can see the different hairstyles. We can also change the color of the hair. Following that, we have the different facial features like jawline, beard style, eyes, eyebrows, nose, lips, ears and options to add wrinkles to the face. Next we have the attire section. We can see attires of various nationalities and professions. Followed by that or the other elements like shoes, glasses, hats, headphones, etc. You can create billions of unique looking characters using all these options. Once all the changes are done, we can save the character using the option at the top. To use the saved character, we have to get back to the project. Now switch between the default character library and the my character section. The created character will appear. Once you click on it, it will appear on the workspace. We can resize and reposition the character anywhere within the workspace. So that is how you can build a custom character easily, a comparatively easier method than drawing a character. In the upcoming part of this video, we'll see how to animate this character. But before that, let's create a background for the scene. Step 2. Creating a background. As a beginner, Drawing a detailed 2D background is difficult. That is why we are going to see 
how to add a background. Open the background section of the library. Here you can find different categories of 2D backgrounds, starting from business, education, travel, nature, etc. We can also use the search option to find a background. Click and add the background to the video. It's time to animate the character. Step 3. Animating the character. An animation video works similar to a flipbook. Similar to how you draw each page of a flipbook, you have to draw individual frames which together become an animation video. But in our case, we are going to replace this whole process of frame by frame animation with an option called action. With the character selected, you can find it right above the workspace. Let's try out a few of these actions. Consider each of the actions as an animation loop. There are more than 800 different actions that you can apply to a character. By adding multiple actions to a character, we can animate it. For example, in this video, I want the character to walk into the scene, then greet the audience and then it should start talking. So the character has to perform three different actions one by one. To add multiple actions, we have to use the action plus option over here. Let's start with the walking action. We can see a lot of different walking actions in the results. Let me select this one over here. To add the next action, we have to use the plus icon over here. On the timeline, we can see thumbs. They represent each of these actions that we have added now. By moving them, we can control the time duration taken between each action. I am giving around 4 seconds between the first two actions. I am adding a talking action as a third one. And I'm giving two seconds between the second and the third action. For a smoother transition, make sure to select these icons present over each of the actions. Let's have a preview of the scene. Looks cool, right? We animated the character in just under 4 minutes, which probably would have taken us a few hours through the regular animation method. If this is exciting to you, then you will be more excited to know how to add lip sync voiceovers to these characters. Step 4 Adding voiceovers with lip sync. With the character selected, click on the lip sync option present above the workspace. Now you will get three different options to add the voiceover. On the right, we have the option to upload pre-recorded audio files. Let's say you have an audio file that you want to add as a voiceover, then this is the option that you have to use. In the middle is the text to speech option. This will convert any text into audio and add it as a voiceover. After typing the text, you have to choose the options on the right hand side. Starting with the gender, then we have the option to choose a language, then we have the option to select among a list of voices. Hello there. Welcome to the channel. Let's learn how to make animations. You can further customize the audio using the options over here. You can control the speed, pitch and the volume of the voice. You can also add break and breathing effect between the words. This auto enhance feature will make the audio human like in a single click. This feature is available for premium users. Hello there. Welcome to the channel. Let's learn how to make animations. Once you click on the add to timeline option, the voiceover will be added to the video. But for our animation video, we'll be using the first option that is the record voiceover option. Let's record the voiceover. Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Let's learn how to make animation videos. Here you can preview the recorded voiceover. You can re-record the voiceover if required or apply it to the video. 
Legs are just the position of the voiceover on the timeline to match the actions of the character. Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Let's learn how to make animation videos. We can see that there is some extra duration on the scene. To add or remove the duration, you have to use the plus and the minus option present at the bottom of the scene timeline. I have reduced the scene duration to 8 seconds. As the next step, let's see how to add camera effects like zoom in and zoom out to the scene. Step 5. Adding camera moments. To add a camera effect, open the camera timeline. Now you can see a list of effects. Let's select the zoom effect. In the workspace, we can see the frame of the camera. Adjust it and keep it where you want it to focus. On the timeline, we can see the duration of the camera effect. I want the zoom effect to end around the 4th second. Let's preview. Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Let's learn how to make animation videos. We have successfully created a scene. In the same way, we can go on and create multiple scenes and complete the video. To add a new scene to the video, click on the plus icon present on the scene section. Now all you have to do is repeat the same steps and complete the video. Step 6. Adding the music. To add a music track, open the music section of the library. Here you can find more than 30,000 copyright free music tracks. Keep the pointer over a track to preview. Click on it to add it to the video. The volume of the music track will overpower the voiceover. So let's reduce its volume by doing a right click. Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Let's learn how to make animation videos. Step 7. Downloading the video. To download the video, use the publish option at the top. Your video will be ready for download in a matter of minutes. So that is how you can create animated videos in minutes. Go on and give it a try today. And let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel.